Somebody got them roaches. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is about cockroaches. And who hasn't seen a cockroach? I grew up in a small city in Ohio, and I gotta say, as a kid living in the projects, living in the hood, it ain't all good. We had we had some roaches. We lived in apartments. And uh, sometimes when you live in apartments, you have neighbors who feed the little bastards, and they just come through the wall, they come through the vent, they come through the, the power outlet, and trust me, I know some people have never seen them. You know, when I met my wife, she had no idea what a cockroach was. I said, girl, you got to give with the time, shouted. I took her through the hood, and now she knows exactly what they are. Uh, and they're just disgusting. They're the worst kind of vermin you'll ever see on Earth. German cockroaches are the worst. And of course, they're German. I mean, I can imagine Hitler controlling them. That's how disgusting they seem to me. But apparently, cockroaches love PlayStation. So they can't be all bad. Uh, cockroaches apparently love PlayStation because PlayStation has an internal power supply. And if anyone knows, which I do know from growing up in the hood, cockroaches love heat. They love warmth. They'll sit inside of a VCR. Uh, they'll sit behind your TV or go inside of a television because it's nice and warm. And they go inside PlayStations apparently. Thank God I don't have cockroaches because I got five PS4s in my house and they'd be everywhere. I'll drop a link in the description. PS4 design makes it perfect hiding spot for cockroaches. It's common for people to have personal electronic devices that suffer from various types of bugs. But that term usually refers to some kind of software glitch or hardware failures, not an actual insect. Sony's PlayStation 4, though, apparently is prone to a bug problem that is both very literal and very disgusting. The gaming console's interior power supply provides a warm environment that's ideal for cockroaches to invade and multiply, according to Kotaku. So, thank you, Kotaku, for doing this uh, expose and exposing the vermin problem on PlayStation. The roaches and their offspring can melt onto the system's hardware, rendering the console powerless, according to multiple console repair professionals Kotaku interviewed. So, this apparently is a major problem with the PlayStation 4. Console repairmen understandably don't wake up every day looking forward to scrubbing cockroaches out of PS4 units, but I'm sure they do it for the right for the right amount of money. The problem apparently is easy to detect as the roaches leave a clear trace of their presence, including droppings that have a distinguishable smell. But despite how common the problem appears to be, Sony doesn't accept any repair requests for insect-infested PS4s. Come on, Sony. Insects are ubiquitous across the planet. It could be an ant, it could be a beetle, it's a cockroach. <laughs> Microsoft's Xbox One reportedly suffers from similar issues, though not as frequently, as the system features an external power supply more popularly referred to as the brick. And it is a brick. It's so big my entertainment center can't go, go up against the wall. As long as any creepy crawlers don't come and zap its interior, the PlayStation 4 is still our pick for the video game console with the most staying power. I agree. Um, <laughs> roaches. Have you ever had a roach inside your PS4? They are disgusting, guys. I feel bad for anyone living in that kind of situation. The apartment I just moved from at the beginning of the year, I stayed there for almost four years. And I had neighbors. Uh, who This lady, she works at Walmart. She was so disgusting that we had to get our apartment sprayed at least twice a month because roaches would come through the kitchen, like through the wall uh, behind our oven. And uh, the guy who come and sprayed, she moved out probably about... I'd say close to two years ago, I still see her and it makes me feel icky when I see her inside Walmart. But the guy would come and spray, he would, he came to my door one day and said, man, I feel so bad for you guys. He said, this lady over here is feeding them. He said, I go inside her house, there's bowls of ramen noodles and her kids are just running around in diapers and there's roaches everywhere. And this is right next to my, my, my apartment, you know, adjacent to me. And uh, it was just really frustrating being in that kind of situation. This is something fairly recent. I'm talking two years ago. And so I had to spray and... and my wife had never seen one. She never saw one until we moved down here. When we moved here, she was like, when is that? Is that like a beetle? And I was like, mm -mm -mm, that's not a beetle. So I hope you guys... <laughs> so it's really rough, you know, being in that kind of situation. If you are in that kind of situation, I feel your pain. But if you are the person feeding the insect, you need to get your shit together and grow up because roaches are disgusting. And if you live with them, you have a real problem. It's not really hard to go out and buy some Raid, buy some Foggers, and take it to them like Rambo. Hope you guys enjoyed this little catch-up video on roaches and PlayStations. Let me know if you've ever seen an insect inside your PS4. It might be snoozing on that power brick on the inside. And if they, you know, and if they touch two particular parts or two components, they could zap your power supply. So 
So that roach could cost you a couple hundred dollars. Get rid of them bitches while you can. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for my channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, show your support, and become a patron at my Patreon page. Links in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.